family of 24 from Bakersfield and Delano were on their long-awaited vacation when they had to evacuate. And a former Bakersfield resident said he lost his Lahaina business to the flames. When Bakersfield resident Nicole Velaruz was enjoying the blue tides of Maui, she didn't expect to evacuate amid gray smoke and an orange sky lit by a wildfire. And then at 3.45 in the morning, uh, Wednesday morning, was the announcement that said the fires are close. My husband and I looked at each other and said, let's go. The LaRue's had been vacationing with 23 other family members. She said the resort she was staying at had lost power early Tuesday morning and that her family struggled to get enough food until the evacuation. And it was very um, reminiscent of pandemic times. You know, they were only letting so many people into the grocery store. You had a limit of how much you could buy. After a drive to the airport in pitch black skies and flight delays, Velaru said she, her children, husband and mother made it back to Bakersfield Thursday at 4 a.m. Seeing my kids asleep on my couch was just a nice sigh of relief. But Velaru said she's worried about family members from whom she was separated. Two relatives slept in a rental car in a parking lot for the past two nights, while others are still trying to fly out. The first time I heard my sister-in-law's voice was when we were on the windy road to the airport. And, um, you know, I heard her voice and, and she said, oh, thank God, you answered. But former Bakersfield resident Chris Houston wasn't so lucky. The bar at the Lahaina Wharf Houston worked out fell to the flames. They closed a lot of the businesses and within three or four hours, the, the town was gone. The fire started and Kevin, it, it happened so fast. The businesses are gone. Uh, I've got six, uh, six people staying with me that all lost their individual houses. But Houston said he's worried more about those who are missing, like one of his own best friends. There is uh, some hope that the people that were missing just don't have service and they haven't been able to get to somewhere to contact. The American Red Cross is accepting donations for fire relief efforts, and Chris Houston has started a GoFundMe for the Lahaina Wharf. You can visit KGET.com for the links. I'll have more ways, I'll have more on the ways you can help coming up at six. In studio, Jenny Ha, 17 News.